What's up everyone? It's B. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. As you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to be going over my first couple of weeks in my Fixer Upper. Um, for those of you who this is your first time on my channel, um, just to share a little background, I did buy my first fixer upper home in Atlanta about a month ago. The purpose of me buying this home was to start my design portfolio. I'm trying to go into, to take my art business from um, solely art to more of a design, interior design space. So I bought this home. I'm sitting in the home right now. There are a bunch of holes in the wall. So I like tried to find the best wall to, you know, do this video on. Literally there are holes in every single wall. So. <laughs> It's not the best background right now, but I did want to share a little bit of information and background on the house. So it is an older home. It was built in the 1950s. Um, it's located in a very historic neighborhood in Atlanta. It's like one of the first um, middle class, upper middle class black neighborhoods in Atlanta. Um, it has two bedrooms, one bath. So the house was purchased by an investor, maybe like five years ago or so. I think before that, the house was not in living condition. It was very run down. It looks vacant. Um, and then they came in and did, they did upgrades, but really the upgrades um, were not up to code. They were very um, DIY. So um, after they sold the house, they sold it to the previous owner who I bought it from. She came in and tried to do upgrades as well but again they were very DIY so the house is not in the best condition the floors are like three different colors um, come to find out as they were like opening up the walls the electric needed a complete overhaul the plumbing um, they had galvanized pipes so essentially like the pipes are the pipe the pipes probably are rusted or they will like rust in the future and then um, there was no air heat so all of like the very central components of this house was um it's just not a good condition so yeah you all are about to see some footage of my first couple of weeks at the house when i first arrived to the house at closing so the day i closed i had a walk through the seller left the house in terrible condition the house looked nothing like um it did when i came to visit the house Number one, like for my first visit, and then when I came to meet with contractors several, several times after that, the house looked nothing like that. Like the grass was a foot high. Um, it was just stuff everywhere. There was still a broken down car in the backyard. Um, the fridge was like disgusting. There was like leaking and molding food. It's just, it was bad. So I had to, the first week, um, call a maid to come in and do a really deep cleaning because it was just, it was just really disgusting. And then from there, I called an exterminator. The exterminator came and um, yeah, the next week the contractors came in, started gutting out the bathroom, gutting out the kitchen. And now they've pretty much completed the electric plumbing, the air and the heat. So, in this video, you're going to see, again, those first couple of weeks. Um, unfortunately, like, the first footage I recorded of my first day here, um, it was very blurry. So, you won't be seeing those first couple of days. I think it starts around day three um, of me being here. So, yeah, let's get to it. I hope you all enjoyed this process. I'm very excited to share. And definitely let me know if you have any questions. So, this is the house. I just wanted to come and take some video before the um, lawn care guy cut the grass. But this is how it looked when I came. After closing, grass super high.
but woo, oh my god you look a thousand times better what's up y'all so this is day three at the house um I have not been staying here the past few days I've been staying at a hotel just because I do not want to put all my stuff in here yet until we figure out what the roach situation is like what the mouse situation is like um so I'm having a pot come today and I'm gonna load all my stuff from the U-Haul into the pot and just keep like the basic things that I need in the house until I see what the you know infestation looking like so um the past couple days I came in there were two dead cockroaches so I did have an exterminator come last week and um luckily like since the exterminator came I haven't seen any live roaches but every time I come in there are dead roaches so that's a good thing I guess they not alive so I'm gonna go in the one room um, where I always find them and see if there's some more in there y'all can see kind of how I'm living right now um got the plants out got some of my furniture that I know you know if a bug was to get on it it would be okay I could just clean it off um some cleaning supplies this is stuff the previous owner left a couple more plants oh yeah let me show you this so this is something i definitely want to get fixed before tomorrow um this door does not open at all i feel like it's nailed shut i don't know why maybe because um the knob was broke and they were just trying to like make it somewhat secure so yeah i definitely gotta get this fixed like there's a big gap um underneath the door and then this then i can't even open the door so if something was to happen you know well i couldn't get out the front door i'd be out of luck so that's something that i want to get fixed like today so that we can enter and exit through both doors and then let me show you all the back um so this is the room where i always see the bugs i don't see none today y'all so I, we might be in the clear but as you can see the let me turn this off the baseboards of this room um are compromised like very badly um so cracks all along here Let me show you this side is the worst this is like completely open right there right there so i'm assuming um that's where all the bugs are coming in so i'm gonna also have somebody um come and try to at least seal the baseboards um, until they start renovations so that the bugs can't just get in freely. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm doing today. I did finally get Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna be hooking up my Wi-Fi. The pie is coming today. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna just be here kind of getting it somewhat organized for us to like come in tomorrow bring a couple air mattresses me and my brother are staying here um it's his last year of college so he's gonna be staying here with me yeah so just trying to get stuff set up so we're gonna be somewhat comfortable so i'm still here at the house trying to get the wi-fi set up but it ain't working um i really need to get some work done but i can't do my work without wi-fi so yeah, so I'm gonna just be chilling here. Um, my neighbor came to cut my bushes. Yard looking so much better. The pod just got here. Um, 
So we had some trouble like figuring out where we're gonna put the pod because the contractors are gonna be coming, they're gonna be redoing the porch and everything. So we didn't wanna put it too close to the porch or to the back fence because they're gonna be redoing the fence too. Um, that's cool. Yeah, so we put it, gonna put it right here more like closer to the bush area. So now I am just throwing out a bunch of trash that was left behind by the owner. She left a bunch of crap. Like, it was terrible. Um, so this is the last of it. Bins, these shutters. Um, yeah, my, my camera's about to die, but I'm trying to capture as much as I can. It was a broken down car over here. And it's like a bunch of just random pieces from the car still sitting in the grass. So I'm gonna try to clean it up. It's crap back here. I'm gonna try to clean it up as much as possible. Okay, so tonight was supposed to be our first night staying at the house overnight. But I don't think it's gonna happen. Like, I'm very creeped out because like I saw a big ass roach going up the wall and then my dog then Nova start tripping acting like she hears something so I don't know if y'all remember this vent I showed y'all it's like pretty much open um and I like set my plant on it just so nothing can get through but Nova keep acting like something up in there so I'm like mm-mm so we about to go to a hotel. I'm gonna see, um, one of my friends is supposed to be airbnb her apartment. So I'm gonna see how long she doing that. Cause I just can't, like I can't sleep good. Feeling like a roach is gonna drop on top of me. Or look. Let's see. And close the door. She keep acting like she hears stuff. Especially at the event. See, uh-uh. Come here, girl. Come here. Oh, sh Go to your bed. Go to your bed because I do not want you to eat that because she will eat that damn roach. All right, take 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 her to the car, cause I just can't. <laughs> Brandon, put her leash on, cause I I just don't want her to eat that fucking roach. <laughs> but yeah, so we finna bounce. We don't really have no plans, but this is a part of the process. This is what I signed up for. Um, yeah, and hopefully the next month we'll be able to chill in here comfortably. What's up, y'all? So today is Friday morning. Um, yeah, we got a hotel last night and through the rest of the weekend we'll have a hotel. Um, and then found out, well, I knew my friend was airbnb in her place. Like she's not staying in her place for a while. So 
thank God we'll be able to stay there at least for the next month or so. Um, that really worked out. I was worried because I did not want to have to pay for a hotel until this house gets done. Yesterday, well last night after everything went down and I saw them bugs, I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna make it here for a month or two. So, you know, I knew I would have to find somewhere to stay. Um, but yeah, I did not wanna have to spend $100 on a hotel for the next month. Like that is so much money. So it kind of just worked out that my friend is Airbnb in her place. Um, Cause that just would have been a lot. Last night was definitely one of those nights where I was like, dang, is this worth it? You know, did I make the right decision? This is about to be, um, you know, kind of a stressful process, but yeah, everything's definitely gonna work out. So right now I am on my way to Waffle House getting some food. Then um, I'm gonna go to the house, meet up with the contractor. Today he's dropping off some um, cabinet samples. So pretty much we're gonna be able to go through like all of his, he has a cabinet vendor that he uses for all of his projects. And we're pretty much gonna be able to go through all of their samples, see what I like, see what I want. Um, to start nailing down some prices. He came by yesterday to kind of just get an overview of my top priorities on the house, which I, I will go over with you all again. Um, yeah, so he, he went over the top priorities for the house. Of course, the bedroom addition, replacing all the windows and doors, gutting the kitchen and bathroom, um, do, redoing all of the like trim and baseboards of the house the HVAC, those are like the main things. So he came over yesterday and, and kind of took notes of all of that. And pretty much we're gonna be meeting a lot throughout this process. So he's coming back today. We'll probably like talk about the cabinets, talk about some more details as far as, you know, the kitchen and what that design is gonna look like. Um, so slowly we're gonna be putting all the pieces together. I think right now we're just doing like overview type things and then we're gonna be getting down to the nuts and the bolts of okay, okay what you know wall paint color and things like that um he did say that pretty much he'll be able to start on the kitchen and the bathroom asap like those are of course the you know primary places that need to get done as and you know, once those get done, that will probably help so much with the bugs and stuff. Um, yeah, because right now the the baseboard, the foundation of the house is so not the foundation, but like the trim and the baseboards of the house is so compromised. Like anything can get through. So once that's done, um, everything should be sweet. We should be comfortable living in there. So the so the rest of the project is finished. All right, y'all. I am back at the house. The contractor is here. He is about to come in and show me all of the um, cabinet samples that he would like for me to see. Yeah. So he's out there um, just separating the samples based on what he thinks that I am kind of going for. And then, yeah, we're gonna go um, over it right now. So are these Showing me different colors and different color and different door styles. Oh, okay. So these are all like shaker type doors, but mm -hmm. if you notice, that some of them it's more smooth, and then the other uh, one, you don't have the, you don't have the uh, the joints. So that's oh, the okay. difference between these two door types. So like these colors come like so the white you'll have in both options. This mm -hmm. color gray 
they only have like these are the only colors they have so the door style and the color is fixed so I think I, you can't get this color in this door style right yeah. I think I like this mm -hmm. I think that's the color um, that I was going for one of those two yeah and then okay I see what you mean but are these can I get like knobs on these well yeah you you pick knobs like you can, later yeah, yeah and you can get not well we get knobs from anywhere so right the, you know i just have a supplier for the cabinets and these are the options they provide for one of my suppliers i can get um other suppliers as well okay but, so basically like is this one similar to that kind of it's similar it's similar. okay it's a shaker type style for the doors okay cool yeah. that's what so I thought. it is similar and you know you, the crease here the, the, the joint here is Horizontal okay. Vertical, oh, I kind of I like the horizontal actually. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I, I think I like that one. Then, yeah, and I definitely like that color. I think. Cool. Okay. So today is about cabinets. Um. So I knew I wanted to do great cabinets. I already have a 3d like sketchup of how i want the kitchen um i already had cabinets picked out and stuff but pretty much the contractor has his own vendors he was saying the cabinets okay so the cabinets that i originally picked out they were custom fronts and then the um the frame of the cabinets were from ikea and then the fronts were custom the like the the, the front facing part was custom. So he basically was saying because the frame is from Ikea, it could potentially, you know, just be not good quality. Like the front of the door would be good quality, but the frame would not be good quality. So basically he wants me to go with one of his vendors, which I don't mind doing. And luckily they have, um, similar colors to what I was going for anyway. So here are the two colors I'm deciding between. The lighting isn't the best, but essentially it's this um, more like light gray and then a more dark, not quite charcoal, but um, just like a traditional gray. So yeah, I think the color that I was originally going to go with was cl is closer to this than this. So yeah. Um, the lighting again is not good right now because the sun is shining in but if I put the samples on the other wall the glare from the sun will hit the plastic too hard so yeah. But yeah, I still think I'm going to stick with that original color. Uh, my goal is to keep this renovation like really fresh, really light and airy. We're in a very small space, so I don't want to do anything too harsh. Like he had a um, like this pretty blue color and it was, you know, it was pretty. But because this is such a small space, that blue is going to make the space feel a lot smaller. So... I'm going to be um, probably going with that light gray because it's light and airy. It's clean. Um, you know, it's a color that everybody can kind of vibe with and that I can build on. You know, it might not be the cabinets might not look super customized, but, you know, I can add nice hardware and other things to the cabinets and to the kitchen. Um, to make it feel more custom. So I think I'm gonna do that. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Yeah, but let me know what y'all think. The dark gray or the light gray? I think the light gray. What's up y'all? I'm back with another bucket hat because my hair still ain't done. Um, past few days been I don't know a little stressful so as I mentioned before we decided not to stay here because all the roaches um, and it just just wasn't comfortable so got a hotel for a few days then my friend 
she is not staying in her place right now so um we are going to be going to her place today but it's just been a lot of back and forth having to put my dog in the car you know trying to make sure my brother's good and all of that then doing all of the logistics with the house it's just been a lot kind of stressful um but i can see the light we moving into a stable stable housing today i think that's gonna change the whole vibe of everything having somewhere to go every single night you know i can kind of unpack my stuff a little bit um no we don't have to keep getting in and out the car she hates the car so it's just always a hassle with her getting in the car and it's, just, it's been stressing me out so today i'm at the house today's tuesday um exactly what a week and a day since i've been here so i'm at the house um the contractor is on his way here and he is bringing the hvac which is the air and the heat people along with the electrician so before they get here i guess i'll go through um basically what they're going to be doing what the current condition of the heating and airing is in the house i'll do a general overview and then once they get here um i will kind of let them hopefully they'll be cool with talking on camera but i'll kind of let probably kurt the contractor explain like what's going to need to be done um, so let me go in the house okay so currently the house does not have functioning AC and heat. Um, it's a very old house. It was built in the 50s, I believe. So this is like how the vents look. Quite disgusting. Keep that covered, because if some hop out, baby, I'm gonna have a fit and then um so this is another part of the hvac just a big old hole in the ground so apparently this was some sort of like fan system that they used to use back in the day um yeah so pretty much it's not functioning the hvac is in the crawl space so um, if you go outside, hold on, get out here. so if you go outside underneath the house, that's where the HVAC is right now. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to move it. Maybe they'll move it to outside. Maybe they'll keep it underneath. Um, I think it could go in the attic, but I doubt they do that. I don't know. Yeah, I doubt they do that. It will probably be outside or, um, where continuing to be in the crawl space so the electrician is also coming because this house again is very old it has very old wiring um the outlets except all of the outlets except for this one right here is on two prongs so you know like with your outlets you have three prongs a lot of mine are still on two prongs um so most items that we use in 2021 wouldn't fit on the super um so then i would have to like get adapters and things like that that's what i had to do in there with the ac get an adapter so another thing with the electricity um there aren't a lot of outlets in the house so like I don't know if you can see that, but behind the sink, I don't think there's an outlet right there either. Um, there are no outlets like by the stove. There's a light switch by the stove, behind the stove that controls this light. But it's like, who want to be reaching over the stove to turn on a light? Um, you know, there could probably be outlets there. Yeah, so basically just ramping up the number of outlets oddly enough the bathroom does not have an outlet at all and y'all know that is not gonna work that is not gonna work 
Um, so I can kind of show you, excuse the noise. But this is like the adapter that I use to go from the two prong to a three prong. And I do not want to have to do that throughout the house. So real quick, I'll show y'all where the um, HVAC is located and where they're gonna be like looking at today. I should put on some shoes, but I'm not going to go this way. Um, so yesterday, okay. Here, um, focus this. yeah, so this is like going the opposite direction of the house, and this creepy, disgusting door is um, the crawl space. So that's where the HVAC and everything is. It's very basically right now, all the vents and stuff, it's like on the floor, like it's just all over the place it's dirty so a part of my um inspection so you know when i bought the house or when i like put in a bid for the house i have to get an inspection to see you know everything that's wrong with the house everything that'll need to be replaced or fixed and um the crawl space was one of them because it's basically all those vents are on the floor it's dirty, it doesn't have a proper door, like n people can't go in there comfortably. So that's a part of like what I'm gonna have to fix with, um, yeah, that the inspector said I need to fix. I didn't notice that, there's no outlets on the back. Yeah, there's no outlets here, oh. back yeah. there on the stove. Yeah, that's the need though. You know we have to put it in the towel? Yeah, that's fine, because you gotta catch everything. What is the square feet for this house? Mm -hmm. 750. 750? 750. 
they, they kind of require you to do certain things. Mm -hmm. And you see on the house next door, mm -hmm. they move the meter to the, to side. the outside. Yeah. That's, that's probably a, what they're going to want. Yeah. So if he's going to let me know how much it is, and then we'll discuss okay. it after you get final price and all that stuff. But. And then say the meter didn't, so the, what else does the meter moving outside affect? Um, it, it, so as far as what? It's so doing the meter outside versus keeping it where it is, like what additional, like, you know, things would he have to do? to move oh, well, it outside. We just have to cut, cut the walls and Oh okay. Yeah. So it would be it'd be some any any whenever you do uh upgrade electrical systems or anything like that, mm -hmm. you have to cut the walls and then it, it's just repatching it. Okay, and then but the original plan was to upgrade it and keep it underneath. The original plan was just to add I add uh, just to add the outlet outlets. To the things where you are and then we talked about moving the um the the hot water heater. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. But once you do pull that permit then they're wanna gonna gonna they wanna look see. At your whole system and see. Okay, this isn't up the code. This isn't up the code. Okay, because they come out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and okay. inspector's gonna come out and take a look at stuff. And if something isn't up the code, then, then know, they're gonna they, wanna they, update they, that they too. Want it to be, uh, fixed, right? Okay. All right. So I got some good news. A final update. Kirk and I kind of had a little debrief. Um, I didn't record it. But so basically, what is going to happen? They are going to end up putting the air and the heating in the attic. Um, and then when that goes in the attic, all of the vents that are currently on the floor will go to the ceiling. Which is good because the holes can be patched up. Ain't got to worry about no roaches coming through the floor. Th coming through the vents. Um, what else? So he was saying like adding electrical to the bathroom is going to be like really easy because this, uh, why can I think of that? The, the electrical box is right on the opposite, opposite side. What else? Um, yeah, right now the only like scary thing, thing that I'm worried about is the electrical for the whole house because they're probably going to have to update the entire house. That might take a huge chunk of my budget out. Or it might just be that. So so with the type of loan that I got um, for my mortgage, it combines the renovation and the mortgage. And basically with the renovation part of the loan, they set aside, I think like five or 10% of the funds for emergencies. So essentially, you know, that extra funds that I could have been using towards something else will probably not have to go towards electric because we did not budget um, to do the full like electric of the house. I can't talk right now. What else? Yeah, so the HVAC guy, he was here literally like, let me turn this off. Um, the air guy was here literally like three minutes. He already knew what he needed to do. Um, with the electricity, they're probably going to add my box to the outside like that, like most houses have. And yes, that's pretty much it. But the good news is I found out they can get started with renovations ASAP which is great, meaning by the time mid-October comes, this place will be in livable condition. I can come in my house and, you know, just chill, just be here. Um, so yeah, he said he gonna co contact some people about the bathroom today and um, figure out when the bathroom people can come and then they'll get started on the kitchen. So that is good news. We gonna be in action real soon. Um, my task for today is to get on the phone with a photographer because um, I'm trying to get some really professional before and after photos. So I'm hiring a actual like residential photographer to come take before photos, take before videos. Um, I'll be doing, you know, video recording throughout the process and then I'm gonna have the residential photographer come back and take after photo, after video. So yes, we trying to make this legit and um, just as professional as possible and capture as much as possible. This is, 
you know, it's a very unique and um, just exciting experience for me, for my business, for my family, for like my community who wants to see what I have going on. Um, so yes, I'm glad y'all are here and I'm excited to get into like the real grunt of the work. <laughs>